What's up everyone? Frank Visconti, Boa Evolutions. Today I'm going to show you uh, I'm going to show you a couple Suriname boa constrictors. Um, I mainly specialize in just pure Colombian boa constrictors. No crosses, no Central Americans, pure boa constrictor imperator. Um, I do have a small place in my heart though for some of the uh, for some of the true red tails, um, the Surinams, the Guianans, Peruvians, Bolivians, um, just amazing animals, amazing animals. Um, I do own a few very nice Surinams, um, and that's what I'm going to show you right now. So here we go. I will start out with one of my females. This girl's about she's she's a full blown adult. She actually uh, she mothered a litter last year. Um, wasn't a uh, wasn't a, a big success, but uh, you know all the plumbing works, everything works with her. She um, you know she's a great animal. It eats good. She's been with me since a baby. Let me get some nice, uh, get some nice close-up shots for you. She's a nice, just a classic example of what a, uh, what a Suriname should look like. She's got that real deep, dark, that birding detail. Um, the lighting over here isn't the best in this spot. She, uh, she's... She's a she's a nice looking animal. So hopefully in the uh, hopefully in the near future we'll be uh, we'll be getting more babies out of her. Now I have a female under her. This one, I think the tail on this animal is just spectacular. The animal you just seen, the one that I just showed you, that one is from, uh, that's a production from Rob Tuta Hope. This animal is actually a Florida Red Tails production. Um, she's another big girl. She's, uh, she's got some killer color, some killer pattern. She's got a nice big attitude to go with it, too, unfortunately. She, um... She's a, she's definitely a tough animal to work with sometimes. But for the most part, once she knows it's not food, she uh, she tames down pretty quick. Look at this, uh, look at this tail. Check that thing out. Suriname red tails are just absolutely beautiful animals. And these are all pure Suriname boas. Like I said, I don't believe in doing anything crossing species. None of that. Everything you see here, everything I show you is a pure either Imperator, pure Suriname, pure, uh, you know, uh, Colombian, pure Peruvian, whatever the case is. Nothing is crossed. Um, a lot of people do it, you know, try to get nice colors or patterns or whatnot. There's more than enough nice colors and patterns and just sticking with the pure straight species alone. So that's her. Uh, my two, uh, my two animals that'll be uh, hopefully giving me some good babies here in the next year. She did produce a uh, a litter before. Uh, it was a very small litter, but nonetheless, it was a litter. Here's their boyfriend. <clears throat> he has got a beautiful pattern to him. Nice big old striped tail, 
he's just a uh, he's just a big puppy dog. I acquired him when we were down at the uh, down at the Reptile Expo down in Daytona, Florida, a couple of years ago. He's uh, he's been with me ever since. He's one of them animals that has just that real big, thick head. He's just got a big old Rottweiler head on him. Beautiful pattern. And last but not least, I have another boy that I got. The lighting over here is a lot better, so you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to see it. Be able to see this animal real nice. Um, this is a uh, this is going to be one of my up and coming male breeders. I got him from uh, Bob Fudo. This is just your classic Suriname that is just super colorful, super light, just a definite standout animal. He's only, uh, he's only, only a little guy still, but he'll be, uh, he'll be breeding in the next two years. Don't think he's going to be making it this year. But next year he will uh, he'll definitely be getting the job done, hopefully. Look at the color on his tail. So there it is. That's just a small little group of uh, Surinams that I'm working with. Like I said, it's just a uh, it's just a 2.2, but some nice select animals. I, I think that uh, I think the babies that are going to come out of these animals are just going to be absolutely outrageous. So we'll keep our fingers crossed to we'll see what happens. Boy number two. Boy number one. One more quick shot of the females. She's checking me out. That's female number two. And one last time. Female number one. She looks dark today.
All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.